What's up everybody, it's me Peg from Judge Day Fitness. Welcome to the video. Thank you guys so much for viewing this video. I hope you get something out of it. And here's a little disclaimer. Uh, I'm not responsible for whatever I say. This is just my opinions, of course, and therefore I should not be able to get sued by Jaws or Size for the comments and opinions that I'm going to give you guys. So with that being said, let's get started on this video. So I'll be completely honest with you guys, I have made a video about Jaws or Size before, about two years ago, so if you were around for that, thanks for being subscribed for so long, really appreciate it. Uh, and it was great, got 15,000 views from the time it was up, but I put it on private unfortunately because uh, it got a lot of dislikes and a lot of negative comments and that would obviously throw off my YouTube algorithm. But also I looked at the video and I realized that some of the points I made were uh, irrelevant or were actually false and uh, some of my points that I made that were correct actually were poorly defended and so I still have the same opinion about jaw size that it's worthless, it's a piece of crap uh, and that it's definitely overpriced even if it did actually work. Uh, well, maybe that's, that's questionable. Um, but uh, yeah, so I still have the same opinion but I've decided that I'm going to redo the video and hopefully have the same results in terms of how many views I get but also, um, I'm just going to defend the points better, and I'm just going to make new points, and yeah, so that's, that's that. So I'm actually going to start off this video by actually making a few good points about jaw size. How crazy is that? So the first thing I'm going to say is it really embraces the idea of entrepreneurship, and uh, my favorite saying, if it makes money, it makes sense, uh, because I think it's useless again, but I think it's really crazy that this guy has managed to sell something that probably costs... At two or five dollars to make. Uh, he sold it for forty dollars, or the three jaws or size package for ninety dollars. And I can guarantee you, he sold a lot. That's why we're still seeing advertisements. That's why the website's still up. And you know what? Good for you. That's what I say. It employed a few people. It's made in Hawaii. You know, good job. Good for you. That's that's my first. That's my first good point for you. All right. So the second good point I'm gonna make about jaws or size is that it actually will strengthen the muscles for chewing. Now, of course, that's basic bodybuilding concepts. If you work the muscle, it's going to be stronger. However, I will just say that I don't think it's necessary at all unless you plan on going out and eating a cow while it is in its pasture or a sheep or a pig or whatever. You're just gonna go up and chew on it. Um, if you do, that's, that's, that's just none of my business and you know, try not to let PETA know about that. The, the animal organization. Um, but, you know, unless you've been sipping through a straw for the last few months, uh, then I don't see a point to trying to strengthen the muscles in your mouth like that. Uh, just chew regular foods like a regular human being. Uh, and also, um, there's the possibility of TMJ, but I don't, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go into that. But I do know it's very possible that that can occur from jaw or size. All right, and now on to the negatives of the product. The first negative that I noticed was that it is being chewed, or you're chewing on jaws of size with your incisors and not your molars. Your molars are meant for chewing, your incisors are meant for tearing food away or separating food, and so therefore um, your incisors are more likely to be shifted, so I think excessive use of jaws or size could definitely shift your teeth, or your front teeth are the weaker teeth, that's for sure, so if you're chewing on that 60 pounds of pressure jaws or size, then good luck to you. Uh, hope nothing happens to your teeth, but that's just something to think about because if you want to do something, you need to do it right. So there are other products out there. If you truly believe that you need jaws or size, there are other products out there that you're actually chewing from the molars and not the incisors. And so that is something that you should think about. If you ask any dentist, they will tell you the same thing. Otherwise, they need to have their degree taken away. All right, so the next criticism I have for them is how much stress they put on the fact that, oh, jaws or size can reshape your jawline. No, it cannot. Yes, you have muscles in your face. Yes, just like you have muscles in the rest of your body. Yes, they have potential to grow. But here's the thing. Again, if you have not been sipping on a straw for the last six months for every meal, okay, it is very unlikely that you have the major potential to grow to see any difference with this product, okay? So, um, you know, yes, your biceps grow, your triceps grow, but they have a lot more room and potential to grow than the muscles in your face, the ones for chewing and everything. Um, and even if you do have a little bit of potential, it's probably not worth it as opposed to the other things you can do to get a better jawline, which I'll go into that later. But again, I just, you know, you probably, however long you've been chewing, um, or yeah, however long you've been chewing food, um, you probably do not have the same potential of growth that you would in say a bicep, a tricep, uh, calf muscles, well calves are really hard to work anyways, but you get what I'm saying, right? So just to clarify, I'm saying that if you have not been sipping through a straw for the last six months or so, 
uh, for all your meals, then it is very unlikely that you will have any use for this product because you've probably already reached your growth potential of the muscles in the face because you have been chewing on food for the last however long you've been alive. Alright, so the next part of jawler size reshaping your jawline is how much they claim that you will burn fat in your face and that is true and not true but more not true than true. I, sorry if that was a little confusing there. But the thing is you will burn calories when you're using jawler size. However, the risk of TMJ, the fact that you'll look really stupid, like you're swallowing air or something, you're like a hungry, hungry hippo, um, the fact that it's just 40 bucks, okay? The fact that all that, it's just not worth it because the thing is, um, you know, they claim you could lose calories, that's great, but they won't all come from your face. If you were at a caloric deficit, uh, then the calories will come from everywhere. They will not, there's no such thing as spot reduction of fat. So therefore, it is a waste of time and oxygen and money and just everything else you can possibly waste if you're using jaws or size, okay? It's useless to use that. There's no such thing as spot reduction of fat that has been proven many times over. So it's just completely useless to do that. So just save yourself some time and 40 bucks and don't get it. All right, so don't worry. I won't leave you guys hanging. I promise. Let me tell you guys how to get a better jawline. First off, there is a video in the description below. First link that is going to tell you guys how to get a better jawline more in depth than I'm about to. All right, so having a good jawline comes down to three basic things. One, your genetics. If you have bad genetics, that's just gonna be the way it is regardless of what you do with the other two factors that I'm about to tell you about. Uh, but you can go get plastic surgery if having a bad jawline bugs you that much. I understand we all have our insecurities and stuff. So if it does come down to that, I hope your surgery or your plastic surgery is very successful and best of luck to you. Now, the second thing is gonna be the amount of fat you have in your body. Uh, again, like I said earlier, there is no such thing as an obese person with a good jawline. If there is, feel free to tell me about them in the comment section down below. I'd love to see this disproven. But if you have a higher body fat percentage, you're going to have a worse jawline. If you have a lower body fat percentage, you're going to have a better jawline, and that's just the way it is. Uh, so, um, you know, lower your body fat percentage, lose some weight, or, you know, sometimes you're going to be bulking and cutting, and that's just going to be the way it is. Uh, again, a jawline is not going to make you the most handsome person in the world, so just keep that in mind, okay? It's not that big of a deal if you don't have a good jawline. Sorry. So the third thing is the amount of water in your body. If you eat a lot of salt um, or sodium, filled products, then it is going to retain water and that water will be retained everywhere throughout your body, but most importantly for this video, your face, okay? And if you are having a lot of sodium, a lot of salt, then it's going to make your face look a little puffy and your jawline a little softer, a little weaker. So don't cut out salt completely from your diet because there is such thing as a sodium deficiency and that will cause issues, but uh, it is important that you are not having an excess amount of salt, okay? I get it, I have to put salt on my, or I used to have to put salt on my vegetables to make them taste decent, and salt just makes everything taste better. Uh, but just keep in mind that the more salt or sodium that you have, the worse off your jawline is going to be. So just keep that in mind. And if you do already uh, consume a lot of sodium and salt, just try and sweat it out. Uh, sweat has a lot of sodium in it, and sweating it out will work. All right, so Jawsercise is kind enough to give us examples of their results from using Jawsercise for an unspecified amount of time, which means that during these two photo transformations, uh, the client has as much time to listen to the other three factors that I just gave you guys and do something with those. Now, I want you to keep in mind that with probably most of these promotions right here and these transformations, that these people were paid to do that or they got something out of it. So maybe they had an affiliate link uh, in the video or just whatever. They get something out of it. I promise you they're not doing it out of the goodness of their own heart or because they believe in the product. They're doing it because they will get money out of it. I promise you that. I would swear on my life for that. Um, so anyways, here's the first one. I'm going to go over it with you guys. Uh, the first one right here, how one woman finally got rid of her double chin. Daily Mail Online. Oh my goodness. How crazy is that? Okay, she works for a company that is promoting this product because they got paid to promote the product. So how crazy is that? She has acne in the first one. Oh, she has makeup in the second video. Um, so obviously she put on makeup, she did a different angle, she did a different posture with her her face and stuff, and so that's you know obviously a bunch of bull crap, and if you don't see through it, I'm sorry, but well maybe maybe you can see through these next few photos, okay? So uh, here's the next photo. The guy has a different angle between the two photos. The guy is clenching his jaw in the second photo, but not the first photo. And you know what? That's okay. It's obvious, so we get to see through it. So I'm, you know, I understand. Okay. Thank you for your poor attempt at 
you know, trying to sell us something. All right, so let's look at the next photo, shall we? Oh my goodness, how crazy is that? In the first photo, he's not clenching his jaw, but he is in the second one. His teeth are apart, um, and his mouth is open. He just closed his lips, okay? Uh, he also has worse lighting, and he did not shave for the first photo, and what else? Different angle, um, so that's just something that I can see. Now, of course, you may still be saying I'm just being uh, negative, I'm just being a jerk and stuff, but this guy is a YouTuber, and so that means, for one, he gets an affiliate link probably, or he made his own affiliate link on a affiliate link on Amazon. Uh, second of all, he gets views from the video, and he gets that turns into money. So how crazy is that? Because he did get a lot of views, good for him. Um, but he actually admitted to uh, doing the things that I've just said in the video. How crazy is that? You want no clinching? Day thirty, clinching your jaw. False advertisement. I admit, I was in the clinching on the after before results footage in the video basically. I was clinching of course to make it look interesting of course. So yeah, I think you guys are starting to see how I believe that this is a bunch of bull crap. Of course, I hope you are at least. Alright, so let's look at the next one, shall we? Well, surprise, surprise, uh, circumstantial stuff, of course. Uh, different angle, different posture, um, and just of course, just ridiculous obviously. Um, so this is kind of the, the golden boy, I like to say, of jaws or size, which is not that I talk about this that often, but um, this is the main transformation photo that I see. This guy used a darker room to make his face look better, so that's not a good sign right there. Uh, and again, different angle, or different camera angle, different lighting. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Ugh. Well, would you look at that? Once again, the guy is using different posture. Uh, he's simply tucking his chin in in the before photo, and he is ex he's making his um, chin protrude out a little more in the second photo and he's clenching his jaw unlike in the first one so there you have it all right so let's move on to the next one oh, of course once again the guy is bringing his chin in and using horrible posture in the first photo and he is bringing his chin out in the second photo how crazy is that i'm kidding it's not crazy at all of course if it makes money it makes sense so people would do something like this and again again i want you guys to think about this why would people do this because they get something out of it so i have run a little experiment for you guys and just to show you guys how easy it is, these videos or these pictures might not even be 30 days apart. Um, well, there are different haircuts in some of them. But um, I decided to do this myself. So here's my before photo and after photo from the side. Just three minutes of doing facial exercises that I didn't actually do and I'm just making up to promote a video. Um, so I think you guys should do these exercises and give me money and stuff. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. And I hope that you guys don't hate me too much for it because I'm right. I'm sorry, uh, but that is the unfortunate thing. Don't hit the player, hit the game, right? Uh, so anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you actually want to lose fat and get a better jawline, you can contact me with my email, my Instagram, and my Twitter because they are all in the description below. You can go check them out. I do coaching. I do customized meal programs, customized workout programs, and I would love to help you guys because I'm not trying to scam you out of 40 bucks. So... That's something to think about. And also, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel or just follow me on Instagram and Twitter just for the heck of it, uh, that'd be awesome. Also, like the video. Also, comment the video. I'd like to hear your opinions and your feedback and any constructive criticism you might have uh, or anything you'd like to say about Jaws or Size, any points you'd like to add. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Don't buy stupid fitness products. Please save your money. Put it to something better like a gym membership. Uh, and I hope you guys have a great day.